this is an example of a closed block operation. A signal, the default state of the signals is always red, <coughs> uh, except when a train passes through, as you can see here. 11.39 is passed through block 2, the signal behind, signal 1 is red, signal ahead is green, signal further ahead is yellow, but after that they would all be red. And as the train 11.35 passes through, the signals behind will go to red and remain red. That's the uh, situation with the closed block. The signals are always red, except when a train passes through. Uh, this is an example of a closed block ABS with a train that has a one block ahead reservation configuration. So it will reserve just the, se the block ahead on its way through the, um, the system. <coughs> Since the blocks are closed, the signals are red. And because there's only one block being reserved, the signal will always be yellow uh, ahead of the train. So as this example shows, the, signal, the train never sees a green. And this is not really a prototypical situation. Um, this is an example of open block operation. Open block is simply the case that the signal will show green if the block ahead is free, or the two blocks ahead are free, and yellow if there's one block ahead free, whether there is a train or not. And as you can see here, the, block, the signals were green, the train is passing through. 11.39 has now set its signal behind to red, course as it should be and then it will uh, pass through <coughs> and as it gets uh, further along the signals behind it will go yellow as you can see now signal one is yellow because block two is free and as it passes further along eventually the signal one will go to green because both block and two and three uh, become free as the train passes all the way through as you see uh, now, so signal one's green, signal two yellow, of course signal three's red because the train is in block four. That's open block. Uh, this is an example of open block operation with a train that has only a single block reservation ahead. And uh, we will see that as the train passes through, it's reserving one block ahead. Uh, but it's, uh, it is seeing green signals because the blocks were free. And it's now passing through block three. Block two is opened up, so signal one has gone to yellow. And as it passes through block four, Signal one will go to green. So even in a single block ahead situation, the train can see green.
this example shows the general situation where uh, train uh, tracks will split and uh, combine. Um, and open blocks can really only be used in a one directional on one directional track uh, with a single block uh, connecting to a second or third single block. So there's no possibility of trains coming from another direction uh, onto, the t onto that track. So in this particular case, blocks two and three can be open blocks. They will show green if uh, free. And the other blocks will be closed and generally show red uh, because it's never quite sure what uh, direction the train is going to come from or there may be more than one train as shown in this example. 11.39 will from 1 to uh, block 7 and 11.40 from block 5 through the uh, single corridor to uh, block 6. But you can see that uh, block 2 and 3 after the trains have passed through will show a green and a yellow uh, because the blocks are free and there is no possibility of a train getting to block 3 or 4 without going through block 2. two. So combination of open and closed is the norm. Although not strictly related to the open and closed block situation, um, here is an example of a freight train, a slower train with a single block ahead reservation and follow, being followed by a passenger train, faster train, with a two block ahead reservation. And uh, now the, this is an example of how a faster train with a two, with a two block reservation can pass a slower train on a siding with a single block reservation because it will be able to reserve the joint block, in this case block number four, will be able to reserve that joint block earlier than the slower train. Um, uh, but this, this shows one reason why it's an advantage to have uh, one block and two block ahead reservations to differentiate train priorities. And because we now have with open block, we you can show green signals. The single block ahead reservation is an option, uh, and particularly I'm talking about uh, rock rail imp implementations. But it could be applied to uh, to many other systems. Again, I am not an expert in any way. I have no uh, experience with railways at all. I'm just a model railroader, and this is an example of. Uh, some activities we've been doing recently on, uh, on rock rail regarding open and closed blocks.